Hey everybody, this is Blaumanger, and we are back again with more Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. Not a whole lot to see here, just doing some more grinding. Trying to get my blue mage up to level 75. I'm in a party that is level synced. I haven't explained that yet. Although there's not a whole lot to it. God, I am missing like a... Like a bat. It's alright. I've got equipment for that. My O hat. My pointy hat. Makes me look stupid, but... Can't argue with those stats. Accuracy plus 10. Ranged accuracy plus 10. That thing is a beast to get. And it takes like an entire alliance to kill one uh, notorious monster, which is basically Final Fantasy XI's version of bosses. A full alliance, 18 people, and there's still a good chance you're gonna die. That'll probably change pretty soon with the level cap going up to 80. Actually, it already has gone up to 80. Uh, let's see, what weapon skills do I have access to? Oh, I got Vorpal Blade. That's good enough, I suppose. Vorpal Blade! Snickersnack. Okay, I won't be referencing that again. That reminds me too much of the new Alice in Wonderland movie. Man, that movie was awesome. Johnny Depp does a good job as a Mad Hatter. But, I haven't seen him do a bad job as anything. I'm silenced and amnesia. Can't do anything again. <sighs> yeah, I actually said it took a day to get this party, but uh, I didn't really stay here the whole time trying to get the party. Actually, I had to work on the 4th since I work night shift and I work odd work week, which means I have to work the weekend and I get my days off during the week. Eh, sucks, I know, but anyway, since the 4th fell on Sunday, the observed holidays on Monday, and so I didn't get Sunday off, but I got Monday off. Anyway, I went to a party. Shot off a bunch of fireworks, burned the crap out of my hand. Yep, it's just not the 4th unless you burn your hand. Well, it wasn't the 4th, but that's besides the point. This guy here, Jnun, Jnun, I just call them Jnuns. Uh, they're monster type, uh, I'm not sure what they are, they're just undead things. But, uh, they're pretty easy. They'll detect you by sound if you walk past them, and they'll detect you from really far away if if your hit points down in the party menu are anything but white. Well, they look like frogs with those long tongues, so most people call them toads. But they aren't really toads. Yay! Experience chain number three! Alright, this is a feature I haven't talked about yet. Experience chains. When you kill monsters that are of a certain challenge to you, usually when you're in a party, you're not going to have to worry about how hard they are. But when you kill monsters of a certain challenge quickly enough, you'll get an experience chain. You start with no chain at all, and as you get more chains, the time you have in between each kill to keep the chain going reduces a little bit up to a minimum at uh, level or at chain 5 at chain 6 and beyond it's the same as it is from 4 to 5 
And yes, the chain can go on indefinitely. And that's something that happens quite frequently out here in Kadarvamire. And what's the purpose of these chains? Well, they give you bonus experience. It's basically free experience for killing fast on top of getting fast experience just from killing fast. It's, you know, win-win. Purple Blade! Now you can actually save your TP up to 300% and it will do something for your weapon skill. What extra TP does depends on the skill. Vorpal Blade, I think it just makes it more accurate, so I don't really bother with that. But I got another ability called Spirits Within. It actually increases the damage of it based on how much hit points you have and how much TP you have. So with full hit points and 300%, I can do like 600 damage all in one hit. It's pretty nice. Well, I haven't really been paying attention to my time here, so I think I'm going to have to cut this sh short right here. Uh, if you like this episode, subscribe to my videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment on it, tell your friends about it. And tune in for the next one. See you guys later.